Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, today I'm doing another get ready with me and I know I just filmed one not too long ago. Well, like just a few days ago. But I have a bunch of new products that I want to try out with you guys. But I'm going to do like a very natural, like everyday kind of natural look. Yeah, natural look. Natural look. Natural look. The main reason for this video is I really want to try this new Arborian, Arborian, Arborian CC Cream. So I have their primer and I really, really like it. And I had asked you guys on Instagram probably like a month ago if I should get the Shantikai, I think it was a CC Cream. And you guys were like, no, get this one. It's so much better. So I got it. It was like 40 ish dollars, so a little pricey, but I really like this brand. And... According to you guys, this is like going to change my life. So I thought it would be fun to do a very natural look because usually when I film Get Ready With Me's, I do like a full face of makeup. And this is going to be like just a very light coverage, like tint and moisturizer, BB cream. And we'll keep it like glowy and soft and, you know, like everyday appropriate for me anyway. When I do my makeup every day, I do like very simple like this. So I do have a bunch of new stuff to try out. I have a new highlighter from Cover FX. I have these cloud paints from Glossier, which are perfect for like a very natural look. I have heard nothing but amazing things about these. So we're going to test these out. I also have these two, um, these new palettes from Natasha Denona. This one, the one powder came broken, so I like pressed it back down. But these are so pretty, and I thought we could just, just kind of play around with them and layer and whatever i also have from becca they sent over this really cute little package Look. so they have a new under eye deep puffer there are new under eye correctors which i don't know that these shades are going to work for me and then i really want to try out this under eye setting powder so we're just going to play with some new stuff i know i just filmed one of these but honestly like i get so many new products consistently so and you guys love these videos you guys always tell me that so filming another one but we're doing it natural so it's kind of different anyway let's just get started so i already took some bioderma over my face i'm just going to put on a little bit of my smashbox primer water i go back and forth with this sometimes i use it like every single day then i kind of forget about it for a while i'm back in love with it so this Aborian CC Cream says that it's high definition radiance face cream, which is kind of scary to me because I'm oily. So I'm going to use this Bosha Pore Affecting White Charcoal Mattifying Treatment Primer. So I feel like a matte base will do me wonders with this. I almost just threw this right at my face. So I just have a little sample of this. I got it in, it was like a 500 point perk at Sephora. You got all these like little samples of Bosha stuff. So I'm just gonna put some on the back of my hand. Let's see how she feels. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, that actually feels really nice. <laughs> I was gonna get more out, but I'm like, okay, let me salvage what's on my hand. It kind of has a silicone feel to it, but not too much. Okay, that should be good. I actually really like the way that feels. Now this CC cream is one of those that comes out white and it kind of adjusts to your skin. And when I swatched it on my hand, it was a little bit dark. But I know that the lighter shade would not have worked for me. There's only two shades in this, which really sucks. But we're just going to have to make this work. Wait. Mine's like, she's stuck. What the heck is happening? It's only letting me squeeze the tiniest bit out at a time. Do you see that? Like, what the heck? <sighs> Bitch, I do not have time for this in my life. <laughs> the was bang. I have to squeeze it out in like little tiny circles. That's the weirdest thing ever. It's only giving me like, look at that. What the hell? All right. I'm gonna blend it in with my fingers, then we'll go in with a beauty blender. Mm. 
Don't get too dark. Don't. All right. Ooh, she's dark. <laughs> Oh shit. Definitely a little bit dark. Hmm. We're gonna make it work. It's like setting really quickly. All right, I need a little bit more. Oh my God, this thing, this bitch. This is absolutely gorgeous. Like it honestly just looks like skin, but like really nice skin. Oh my goodness, I'm, I'm loving this so far. I'm gonna take a little bit more and see if we can just build it up a little bit. I hate this. very very light coverage like it's not one of those CC creams that you're like oh my god it's a CC cream like the it cosmetics one like it's a CC cream but it has the coverage of a foundation it, this has the coverage of a CC cream which I'm totally okay with okay so now we're gonna totally switch and move on to something super full coverage this is the makeup revolution conceal and define full coverage conceal and contour okay so this one is C4 this one is C6 C6 is on top so there is a huge difference. This one on the bottom, C4, is supposed to be neutral. She real pink. People are saying this is a dupe for Shape Tape, so I love the applicator. It's just like a big, fat doe foot. All right, here we go. Oh, girl, this is high coverage. Oh, shit. I mean, I think it looks good. It, I do feel like it's very, very similar to Shape Tape. Like it, it kind of sits on the skin the same way that Shape Tape does. It's a little bit dry, a little, little bit dry. Okay, on the other eye, just for shits and gigs, I'm gonna try the Stretch Concealer from Glossier. This one's in the shade Light. I've heard this has like zero coverage. So I'll probably end up covering it up with the um, Makeup Revolution one, but let's just try it out. Oh, that shade is good. Oh, I love this. It looks so just healthy and fresh. Like it doesn't have that dry appearance at all. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Wait, I, okay, I need to wipe this off and put this on the other eye. This looks so perfect. And like with the CC cream, the very light coverage, like this is the perfect thing. I just kind of wanted to try this out. But for today's video, I think this is what I need to go with. I'm shocked by how pretty this looks. Like just so natural. Okay, going back into the stretch concealer, I love this. This color is just so good. And it like blends so easily. I do wanna set that very quickly before it starts to um, crease because it is very emollient. So we're gonna try out this new Becca, Becca. Under Eye Brightening Setting Powder. 
love the packaging. Like it's so tiny and cute. So that's what it looks like. I'm gonna use my Wayne Goss airbrush and we're going to test her out. Okay, that looks really pretty. It's not settling into my fine lines at all. I'm gonna prime my lids with my Smashbox Photo Finish Lid Primer in white. I like the white one because it's it's white, so it gives your eyes like a nice bright base for eyeshadow. Okay, I'm gonna fill my brows in quick with my obsession, the Hourglass Arch Brow Sculpting Pencil in Dark Brunette. I freaking love this thing. It's so good. The spoolie, the spoolie is a game changer. I'm telling you, it's the best spoolie ever. Yo, my skin looks freaking amazing right now. Like, if I say so myself, my skin looks amazing right now. Okay, so my brows are done. They got they got a little they got a little intense, but we're just, we're just gonna roll with it. And now I'm gonna use my favorite brow gel, which is the Arch Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel in Dark Brunette from Hourglass. I'm totally totally obsessed with these. If you guys didn't see, oh, what is that? If you guys didn't see my last, get ready with me. I'll put it up here, up here, somewhere. Okay, now for the eyes. Oh my God, you guys, I'm so excited about this. So this is the new Too Faced, obviously, White Peach collection. Well, it's not really a collection. They sent over a shadow insurance and a better than sex. Look, just, do you see the perfection? It's like ombre from like lavender to white. Not even white. This looks like Essie Goginza, which is one of my all-time favorite nail polishes. I just have a real problem with the perfection of this palette. Like, it's so perfect that it hurts me inside. Too Faced, how can you do this to me? Look at this. Oh my god. Now, we're not going to get the full spectrum of the palette today because I'm just doing a very, very natural look. But we're going to try out the mattes. I might put this really pretty, like, pinky shade or peachy shade on my lid. But if you guys want to see another look with this, like, a stronger, like, you know what I mean? Like, not a super natural look, just let me know. The Just Peachy Mattes is one of my all-time favorite palettes. I talked about it in my Best of 2017 video. I can't talk right now, Mom. Okay, so I'm just doing a voiceover for this one little tiny portion of the video because my mom was on the phone telling me a very riveting story about my Aunt Betty. So I'm taking Peach Sorbet and Creme de la Peach, and I'm just running that through my crease with an E40 from Sigma, and these shades worked beautifully. I feel like they're the exact same formulation as the Just Peachy Mattes. Um, really nice, easy to blend. And they looked really pretty mixed together. Peach Sorbet was not peachy enough. And Creme de la Peach was a little bit too peach. So together, they were perfect for what I was looking for. So once I get that blended out, I am taking my Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue. Um, and I'm going to put that on my lid. And I take like the tiniest bit and I just tap it on. I use this all the time, like every time I do my eye makeup because it just makes your lid shade so much more vibrant. And while it's still tacky, you want to go in with your shadow. That's the trick. Don't let it totally dry. Like you go in right away. And I'm taking Glistening Peach and I'm putting that all over my lid. This shade is beautiful. I feel like this shade was in another Too Faced palette, but I've looked through my Sweet Peach and a couple other palettes and I can't find the palette that it was in so if you guys know let me know but it's really pretty it's not chunky it's not patchy it applied really nicely and look how bright it is it looks even brighter on camera than it did in person like it just has enough shimmer to it it's like perfect I really really love this shade and you'll see in a minute just how excited she is oh girl Yes. Oh, here we go. 
you better settle down. You're going to break a hip. Oh, wow. Yeah, hip definitely got dislocated. Okay, so now I'm deciding what brown I want to use, and I'm going to send it back to me. <laughs> okay, I'm going to dip into Swiss chocolate because the one thing that's missing is a brown this color. Darn it. Like, I don't even know what I would use to deepen up the outer. This is not dark enough. This is too dark. That's the only thing I feel like this is missing. So I'm going into Swiss Chocolate from MAC, my favorite. The 217 from MAC. Just a little bit. So I'm just taking whatever's left on my brush on my lower lash line. Um, it's just easy and quick and it's a nice little trick that I like to do. You don't need any additional product. Taking a little bit of glistening peach, the shade that I put on my lid and just, just a little bit of that on the inner corners, like on the lower part. Inner part of my lower lash line, wow. Cool. Really? I mean, we might as well try this on the inner corner. Like, it's just begging. It's just begging. It's not going on the brush. I don't think. Um... Hmm. A little bit. This is like, it's like a really chunky shade. Do you see that? I don't know how I feel about that. I'm gonna use Better Than Sex just to keep with the little Too Faced theme on my eyeballs. I did a little bit more on my eyes than I planned on. I was just gonna like throw something in my crease, but I ended up like, oh well. Um, moving on to the face. So for bronzer, I don't, do I? Mm -mm. I don't, I don't have any new bronzing products to use. Shoot, don't I? gonna go in with my hourglass ambient lighting bronzer in luminous bronze light this is very pretty very natural and I'm gonna use my zero two brush from NYX and I'm not like doing anything cray Okay, so we might as well play around with one of these guys. These Natasha Denona Diamond and Blush Face Highlighting and Contour Palette. This one is in Citrus. Very pretty. Sorry, I don't want to blind you guys. And then this one is in Daria. And the top shades, these top three are creams. And they have this like little... Isn't that cute? There's like a little flap to protect them from getting powder in them. Genius. Okay, but before I use these, I really, really, I know there's some creams in these palettes, but I really, really have been wanting to try out these cloud paints from Glossier. So I'm gonna use the shade Beam, and I'm just gonna use my fingers, and I'm kind of afraid, so don't judge me if it gets jacked. So I'm just taking a tiny bit. Do you see that right there? 
I'm gonna put it on my finger and I'm just gonna put it on. I'm, I'm really afraid, okay. Can you see it? Mm, I can see it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I have the perfect brush. This little Morphe. Um, I don't know what number. It doesn't have a number on it. But look, it's like the perfect little stippling brush. I'm excited. That's actually really, really pretty. I'm just gonna take my powder brush. Just cause I want it to be like super French, really French. That was like the easiest blending cream blush that I've ever used besides the NARS ones. The NARS liquid blush is incredible. So I'm gonna take this shade from the Daria palette and just, just put a little over top just just because. I'm gonna use my Smashbox Buildable Cheek Brush. Well, that's really pretty. It has a little bit of a sheen to it, so it gives you that like very healthy, fresh look. Fresh is what we're going for, okay? This old bitch wants to look fresh. Okay, so for a highlighter, I've been told that you can put this little Hourglass Vanish Stick Highlighter. I think that's what it's called. This one's in Champagne Flash. This was a deluxe sample that I got from Sephora. Look how cute it is. I've been told that you can layer these over powder, so we're going to see. Um, how am I going to apply this? Oh. I'm going to use my Smashbox Precise Highlighting Brush. And I'm just gonna do this. Mm, maybe not. I'm just gonna apply it with my finger. Oh, I can see it. And it's sitting really nicely over the powder, so that is good because I always forget and I put powder on and then I'm like, damn, I wanted to use that cream highlighter. So if I can put it over powder, that's, that's a total win for me. So this is a more natural look, but it's, I mean, we're still putting on a full face of makeup. Let's be real. I just feel like playing with stuff. And then over top of that, I'm going to take this little, wait, I just got a big fingerprint on it. This little cover effects, um, perfect light highlighting powder in moonlight. Look at this little thing, you guys. Sephora has this on its website for $10 and I'm like, it's so tiny and cute. It's the perfect way to try out a product without having to pay full price for it. I mean, how often, like I said this on Snapchat, but how often do you go through an entire highlighter? Like, I never do. I'm going to use my Morphe M501, and I'm going to put this on. That's pretty... Ooh, girl. Ooh, she is intense. I mean... <laughs> I was gonna keep this like super natural and glowy and I just did a full face of freaking makeup. Jesus Mary. Once I get started, I just can't stop but I am really bummed that I forgot to use this Becca ID Puffer because this feels amazing. 
I used it the other day just like I was just playing around. It feels so nice. Oh. And then for lips, I'm keeping it super simple. I'm using the Milani Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumper in the shade Almost Natural. So pretty. I have to wipe this lip balm off though. It's a very like subtle lip plumper. It's not super tingly. It doesn't make your lips hurt. Such a beautiful color. Mmm. So pretty. And sadly, I'm going to use up the last little bit of my Morphe setting spray, the Prep and Set. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I freaking love the way the CC cream looks. If you're someone who's a fan of a CC cream, you will love this one. Where did I put it? Bench. Oh, here it is. So the Aborian CC Cream High Definition Radiance Face Cream. Oh my gosh, this is absolutely gorgeous. It's just enough to kind of even out your skin tone and it just honestly makes it look like you have really, really great skin. This is, I mean, you guys were right. Thank you guys for telling me about this. I kind of was shying away from it because it says Radiance Face Cream. I was like, I'm way too oily for that. But honestly, my face does not look like I feel like it has a very natural finish. It's not radiant. It's not too dewy. It's just like a beautiful, just natural finish. Natural is the best way that I can describe it. I freaking love this. I'm so excited about this. I think it looks so pretty. I do wish it was a tad bit lighter in shade, but it's all right. And then I don't want you guys to get the wrong idea about the Makeup Revolution concealer because I wiped it off. Like this could be great, but for the look that I wanted to do today, a very like natural look, after putting the stretch concealer on and just seeing how just perfect it was, it was just a little bit of coverage, but it looks so beautiful under my eyes. It honestly does not look like I have concealer on. It just, it's so natural and gorgeous. And I was kind of afraid because I've heard so many people say this has like zero coverage. I absolutely love the way this looks under my eyes. It looks perfect. Especially if you're someone who has mature skin or you have a lot of dryness or fine lines under your eyes, you probably will love this as long as you're not looking for full coverage. If you are, this is not going to be enough for you. This combination, the stretch concealer with the Becca under eye setting powder, I love these two together. Like my under eyes right now look really good. They're a little bit creasy, but like nothing that's not normal. I always have some amount of creasing under my eyes, so it's just become normal for me. I love the way this powder looks. I like how brightening it is. It's not heavy. It's a very thin, very finely milled powder. Really, really pretty. I really enjoyed this cloud paint too. This isn't the one that I use. This one's in the shade Dusk. I guess I can swatch the two that I have. Okay, so this one is Dusk, and then Beam is the one that I wore, that I have on right now. Aren't they so pretty? And they just like, there's, I mean, this was one tiny drop, so they are very pigmented. But you guys saw how nicely that blended. And I'm terrified of cream blushes. They just scare the shit out of me. But this one is, I really, really like them. And then this Too Faced White Peach Palette. The shade that I have on my lid, Glistening Peach, is stunning. So beautiful. I do wish, I mean, I can always, let me grab my Just Peachy Mattes palette and we'll kind of compare. I do wish this had a brown shade in it, like a deeper brown, kind of something like Swiss chocolate. You guys know I'm obsessed with Swiss chocolate. But I do have my little Just Peachy Mattes, so I can always dip into this one. But, you know, it's just nice to have it in the same palette. I do wish there was some sort of brown shade in here, like a deeper brown. Um, there's nothing similar. There's, like, no brown. There's a blackish. Yeah, that's black. Then there's, like, this kind of, like, transition shade. I feel like it needs, it needs a brown. 
and it would be perfect. I don't know how I'm going to feel about this shade, the one I tried to put on my inner corner. Speaking of inner corners, I'm actually going to take this cover effects. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's so pretty. I think this is gorgeous. This Hourglass Vanish highlighting stick is absolutely stunning. If you're someone who's a fan of highlighter sticks, if you're not, or like cream highlighters, if you're not, you're not going to like this. But I think this was a success. I really like the way my, like my skin just looks so good right now to me. I just keep looking in the mirror and I'm like, holy shit. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed trying out some more new products. Um, I was going to keep it super natural. I kind of got a little bit, a little bit more makeup-y than I had planned, but that's usually how it works. So I love you guys. Thumbs up this video. If you enjoyed it, let me know down below what your favorite CC cream is. If you guys are fans of CC creams or BB creams, let me know the best one that you've ever used. And if you've tried the Shantikai one and you've tried the Arborian one, let me know which one you think is better. I'm so curious, but I don't know that... There's no way the Shantikai one's better than this. There's no way. I should probably go make dinner before my family starves to death. So, I love you guys so much. Thank you again for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye. Ooh, that's one jacked up eyebrow. User error, not the product. Don't get excited. Sad. Bitch, what? Bitch, where? Yo, my skin looks bondies. Oh, I just cracked my neck really hard. Oh, fuck a duck. I didn't put on my cloud paint. This party. This party right here with this little baby PR package, no wasting of materials like Becca. Pat on the back. I love you. 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 It's like saying it for the first time. I love you. I love you. I love you. This is like the prettiest packaging ever. Whenever a product.